everyone, so this is super impromptu, but I wanted to talk to you about a brand new discovery that was made just yesterday actually. It was published in the, the journal Nature, and it's all about an exomoon that might actually have volcanoes on it. Now, why is this even relevant or cool? Well, first of all, Jupiter, one of the planets in our solar system, has a moon, Io, which actually is very volcanically active. Like, there's literally volcanoes on it. Now, the way that they found this out is something that's really kind of weird and funky and it has to do with something known as sodium gas. So pretty much astronomers were able to measure that there was this high level of sodium gas being emitted um, for in an exoplanetary system known as WASP-49b. Now that's the specific exoplanet. It's about 544 light years away from Earth, super far away. But what's weird is, now let me try and demo it actually for you guys. I'm going to set up these chairs. What's strange what they measured is that, for one, the planet is located about here. And the other thing is that gas cloud of sodium uh, that I mentioned is about here. Now, if it had come just from the planet itself, it would have been located about here, a lot closer to the planet, meaning it was the stellar winds that emitted potassium and sodium out into space. But what's weird is it's at a much higher altitude level that's been measured. This can only mean one thing. There might be a hidden moon somewhere in this area that is a rocky body that is volcanically active that's starting to emit sodium and potassium, which would be caused by either the tidal forces of that planet and the moon, and that's what's actually emitting this extra sodium gas, which is what's so fascinating and interesting. The only other option would be that there is some type of accretion disk around the exoplanet. And if that's the case, then that's probably what's actually causing it. But I like to think that it's possibly an exomoon similar to Io, which is, you know, the moon of Jupiter, which would be really cool. So uh, this is a re really recent study, and I think it's super exciting because the more we start to understand not only about us and our solar system, but exoplanetary systems, the better we're gonna be able to really look into trying to find life beyond Earth. Maybe there's life on one of these like very volcanically active moons. Maybe we have to start looking at um, what is gonna be different in specific solar systems and specific exoplanetary systems. So I just found that to be interesting and want to talk to you guys all about it. I wrote up some more details actually on the Everyday Astronauts website. Um, so I wrote up a quick, quick little uh, write-up about that if you wanted to read some of the more details that goes into the actual research that these researchers and, and scientists ended up finding. But uh, for now, that's all I want to talk to you guys about. All right, happy New York Fashion Week. <laughs>